Today, a typical data center in the U.S. consumes like 32 megawatt of power, and the largest data center would consume 150 megawatt of power. And, and to do the kind of big super clusters that people are talking about today, hundreds of thousands of, of XPU together, you're talking about gigawatt class. So let me talk about what does it mean by a gigawatt class? Well, a gigawatt is the kind of peak power demand for a city the size of San Francisco. And then if you go up to one order, my man, you further, what is 10 gigawatt? 10 gigawatt is the power demand for a city the size of New York City, which is one of the largest cities on earth, 11 million people. And you know, just last week, Meta announced that they're gonna build a $10 billion data center in Louisiana, and they put out a RFQ for up to four gigawatt of power. This is humongous. This is, but can it be achieved? Absolutely, absolutely. And, 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 and for the Louisiana, what I hear is that uh, it's gonna be something in the order of two gigawatt class range. And so that certainly can be a big enough site, not building, site for like a million XPU. And that vision will take place uh, probably within, I don't know, the next few years. But today, for hyperscale provider to try to build hundreds of thousands of XPU or million XPU, that kind of power doesn't exist today. So the only way they, people are gonna do that is to do multi-site AI, meaning they put the uh, XPU in different sites and they connect them with very high band, with very high speed optics. It's called DCI optics, ZR and ZR plus. These are the kind of optics that Marvel pioneer and that solution exists today. So I'm absolutely convinced that over the next few years, you're gonna see cluster getting bigger and bigger and 400,000 cluster are within sight and beyond that, a million clusters.